Hello Watchtower Database! Welcome to another unboxing. I think this is only the second one that we've done on the channel. The first one, um, James can probably put like a uh, title cards up there. The McFarlane Toys Batman. And now our good friend Ewan from What Culture Comics. Don't you love me, mother? <laughs> sent me an unopened box of Batman the Animated Series trading cards. The majority of these I've seen like the images of, but there's a complete difference and holding something like that in your hands. These are kind of from a time before access to celebrities and show crew was as high as it is now. A lot of companies that were doing trading cards would at times slip in an autographed card. I think I read something about Danny DeVito signed like 2000. So there's always a possibility of a Danny DeVito signature, maybe someone else who actually was part of the show. Let's uh, let's see what's going on. Right off the bat, lovely artwork from the show. Most of it comes from the Batman the Animated Series style guide. Let's get into opening these. I actually today I have a binder. Kind of keep track of the cards as we open them up. Probably would have behooved me to have done that beforehand, but you guys are getting the full experience unless James edits it out. We can throw that away. Uh, did I miss a hole somewhere? All right, there we go. So right away opening it up, I assume it pops up somehow. Jeez, I don't want to, I don't want to damage this. This is like so old. Oh my god, why won't it open? How can I make an unboxing video if I can't even get the things out of the box? Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Now we're playing with power. Right away, let's take them all out. There we go. We're dealing with 36. 10 cards per, so that's 360 cards in total. Vinyl mini cell cards randomly inserted, three for every 36 packs. Three vinyl mini cells today, at the very least. I love that you can kind of just open them from the sides. I was a huge Pokemon fan back in the day, and you would have to like just cut off across the top. These are more form fit, so no extra packaging. It's really easy to preserve. So this pack, see we got a Poison Ivy on the back. It talks about the stuff from Pretty Poison. It's card number 81 out of 100. We've got Arkham Asylum. Oh no, this one's already damaged. The Bat Cycle. Compact and powerful, the Bat Cycle enables Batman and Robin to travel the narrower byways of Gotham City, secured by the same high-tech armor plating as the Batmobile. Ooh, what is this? This just looks like Batman just kind of spreading out. We've got Poison Ivy herself, the little bio on it. Years ago, lonely Pamela Isley grew up with only her beloved plants for company. When some rare roses in her care were wiped out by the construction of D.A. Harvey Dent's new prison, Ivy vowed revenge. She adopted the name Poison Ivy and began a life of crime. Oh, this is a the I am vengeance. I am the knight. I am Batman moment from Nothing to Fear. That's really cool. Does it say that on the back? Yep, it is all right there. We've got a Batgirl. Ooh, this is another beautiful one. The Two-Face reveal from Two-Face part one. And we've got Grace's reaction at the back. Yes, I, I knew this card existed and I wanted it so badly and I have it. Joey the Snail. This is the guy that Killer Croc was looking for in Killer Croc's first appearance. I have no clue why they made a Joey the Snail card, but God damn it, I'm glad that they did. And then finally in that pack, we have another bit from Nothing to Fear. Uh, let me put these in the binder. Each sheet is nine cards. It says that there's a hundred, nine, 18, 81 goes here, here, here. I'm gonna keep this Arkham Asylum one out just in case I get another one, just cause it's damaged already. But once they're all in the, in the book, we can kind of scroll through them and see what's up. All right, the next pack of cards. What do we got here? Definitely from On Leather Wings, right? No, that's from Pretty Poison. Harvey Dent and Pamela Eiley were to meet Bruce Wayne at his fashionable Rose Cafe, but Bruce is running late. He probably got hung up on business. Ooh, here's one of the, the vinyl mini cells they were talking about. All that says on the back is collect all six. We got another Poison Ivy, another Nothing to Fear, I Am Vengeance, I Am Night, another Batgirl, Batman's Homing Locator. When did, when did he use this? We got another scene from Pretty Poison. Oh, for those of you eagle-eyed viewers out there, I just dropped Harvey Bullock. It's fascinating to me, like how different the model art that they used in the style guide looks from like the final characters, right? Like this doesn't look like anything Bruce Timm would have actually drawn. Maybe that's just me. This is on leather wings up against the GCPD SWAT team. And then we have uh, the bat boat. So let me put these in. So it looks like the way that they've got these cards numbered is by episode. It looks like by the time these pages are filled out, I might have like a full, episode worth of like cards kind of tells a tale. Let's get in pack three. Yes! James! Yes! This was another one I knew existed and I really wanted. We've got Spider Conway. 
<laughs> Sissy's over there laughing. So a couple years back when James came up to Washington to meet me and we did Emerald City Comic Con, he was talking to me about like how he had friends that were trying to quiz him on his DCAU knowledge and were giving him a hard time for not knowing Spider Conway. And like before he got to the part where they were giving him a hard time, I was just like, wait, you didn't, you didn't know Spider Conway? Uh, <laughs> And it kind of became an inside joke. Let's see, we've got another one from Two-Face where he's decking one of the goons, Commissioner Gordon himself. Another goon decking, we've got Two-Face. I love how like retro 90s these cards, like, like that background is just like, what are y'all doing? Another one from Pretty Poison where they're looking over Harvey Dent. The Bat Boat, once again, Batman himself, the Penguin, and oh, our first one from The Last Laugh. Batman squares off against the Joker in a recycling building where huge vats of molten aluminum bubble threateningly. What do you say we bury the hatchet, Batman? Right after we bury you. All right, let's get these and Batman is only, is number two. Maybe the first in the series might be Bruce Wayne. All the way up to Joey the Snail, which is number 40, seem to be profile cards. So I'm gonna guess that we have 40 different profile cards to go through. This is very much early episodes. If I come up with a Sewer King card, that'll be fun. Well, let's open up the next one. It's gonna be so funny if just like, I get a pack full of Spider Conways. Okay, we've got the Riddler. That's a pretty cool one. Oh, <laughs> we've got uh, Captain Clown after his head comes off. That's a great scene. We've got another one of them looking at Harvey Dent, another Two-Face card, another goon beatdown, another Commissioner Gordon. Batman's utility belt. The belt's buckle conceals a sophisticated keypad, which among other things, provides Batman with remote control of the Batmobile, Batplane, and Batboat. So like I was saying earlier about the style guide art not really looking like the show, this Talia is a pretty good example of that. That doesn't look Bruce Tim at all. And then we have Another one from On Leather Wings, Batman using his Cyclops vision, looking like an X-Men. We got six new cards out of this. I'll just stack them to the side for now. It'll save up some time. Oh shoot, there's Roz or Raish, however you want to say it. Another scene from Pretty Poison where he is attacking the plant monster. The uh, grappling gun. Alfred Pennyworth himself, another nothing to fear where he's climbing Scarecrow's uh, fear toxin. Catwoman. Oh God, what was this guy's name? From Pretty Poison. I don't, I don't remember his name. That's that guy. We got the bat plane. See, this is another one. This is another like style guide, like weird. This Harley Quinn does not look correct. Look at her just jumping around. And then another from Nothing to Fear where the Scarecrow's robbing the university. All right, there's the stack. Let's open up the next one. I hope James is just like fast forwarding. He might even be, be cutting it out. I don't know. I don't know how you make this look interesting on a, on a YouTube video. See, we got Scarecrow being mad and Nothing to Fear. Boom. We got Rupert Thorne. We got, oh, this scene used to fuck me up as a kid. Joker hanging over that vat like he's about to be killed. Oh, okay. I figured out what card number one is. It's the show logo. Pretty cool. We got the bat plane again. Guy from Pretty Poison again, Catwoman again, Riding the Hose again, Alfred again. The one card that was damaged, I have not gotten the double of yet. And we've got Batman with Harvey Dent. And on the back, just moments before, Harvey. No. Throw these ones in the stack. I feel like my pants are getting tight. I walked off camera for a second and I came back with a LaCroix. We're not sponsored by LaCroix, but if LaCroix's out there, Hit me up. Another, get him on out of there. All right, this one's Dick, not Robin, just Dick Grayson. Ooh, another beautiful card. I'm so glad that they turned some of these into cards. The Two-Face reveal in the psychiatric office. Scarecrow hanging from the uh, the GCPD fan. I'll, I'll tell you what, you can't, you can't hang a person off of a fan blade like that. It just ain't gonna work out. You got the Batmobile. Another of that one that I thought was from On Leather Wings. Oh, we got a double in this pack. Two Dick Grayson. Another Nothing to Fear, which I think is a double. Now that I'm losing track of what is and isn't doubles, I'm gonna put the stack that I have into the binder. Uh, the Batarang and Pretty Poison, where he's captured by Ivy and Ivy sexually assaults Batman. So there's that. Look at how many more of these I have left. I have at least half of the cards. Oh no! Understandable, Archer. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this stack. I know that was number one, number six. Oh, and now that one fell over because <laughs> this is the most professional card unboxing YouTube channel ever. I don't know if there's a lot of YouTube channels that do that, so maybe that's a given. 
Can you, can you? <laughs> yeah. Come here, sir. My tripod that I usually use to record is down here on the table. So this camera is propped up on top of some books on top of my cat tower. And the cats do not care that I'm recording. Oh my God. No, go away. Go away. <laughs> I would 100% be down for him to be in the video. Tell you what. Since he wants to be in the video, there we so go. Bad. Hi, <laughs> Archer. Welcome to the card unboxing video. Did you wanna? Did you wanna open this one up? We got Gotham City Police vehicles, all of which are faster than Lex's airplane. We finally have Bruce Wayne himself. Card number four. So what did they put? Bet what did they put between Batman and Bruce? Maybe just Robin. We have another, another, another. We have Renee Montoya with us now. She's my babe. Young, tough, and cynical policewoman Renee Montoya has grudging respect for Batman, even though at times she finds herself opposed to his vigilante methods. Scarecrow himself. What is this background? This is some Shadow the Hedgehog looking shit. It just looks, it looks bad. We have Batman jumping over cars in Two-Face. And we have, from On Leather Wings, Batman, I guess, getting ready to fight the Man Bat. The back of it has the Man Bat transformation. So those are some cool ones. Let's open the next. Is this another Dick Grayson card? Is this my third Dick Grayson card? Oh, sweet. Another vinyl mini is in here. Another nothing to fear that we already have. We already have Riddler. That same pretty poison shot that I thought was on Leather Wings. The Batmobile again. Oh, hey, we got a new location. We got Crime Alley. Here's Batman over the same pit of fire that the Joker was just over. Coyote Ken or just the ninja. They give cards to like the most random characters. I don't, why do we have the ninja, Joey the snail, spider, why, why, tops? I'm just curious about when Critters comes up. Critters isn't gonna be in this. This isn't the new Batman Adventures. No, no Critters, except for this one. Oh, and my next vinyl mini sell is a Poison Ivy one. Once again, collect all six. Let me pop all these bad boys into here. 69. <laughs> <laughs> nice. There we are. All right, let's open up another pack. LaCroix, sponsor us. Bro, what if I get four vinyl mini sells and it says only three to every 36 packs? Like, bruh. How do they keep track after these packs closed? All right, already have, already have, have it, have it. There we go, there's another Arkham Asylum. Bada bing, good things come to those who wait. Batman looking at a passed out man bat. Another penguin, another nothing to fear that we already have. Poison Ivy that we already have. So there were two new cards, one new card actually, just one of them was not damaged. We should do something with these, with the rest of these cards, right? Like we should do some kind of giveaway or something. Another Rupert Thorne, have him. Hamilton Hill, that's a new one. A new pretty poison, there we go. Hugo Strange, that's a new one. Harvey Dent, that's a new one. You know, I don't know if this is a new From Nothing to Fear or not. I'm gonna just set that there. This is definitely a new Two-Face. Joker, that's new. Robin, that's a new one. And this might be a new Nothing to Fear, I'm not too sure. Let's throw them all in. Okay, this is number 100. Did they just get through like Two-Face part one and then they said, all right, that's enough? There we go, there's a full page. Robin is of course number three. Did you want down, buddy? Hey, here, let's get you out of here then. Say goodbye to Archer everybody. He's on drugs. Well, I'm gonna open another pack. There's so much. All right, got it, got it, got it, got it. I believe this is a new On Leather Wings up against the Man Bat. The same Captain Clown shot we had from earlier. Oh, we got the Bat Cave now. Another On Leather Wings. GCPD's looking at Batman from the helicopter. We got another Joker and another Two-Face that we already have. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, we got Selena Kyle. Another Two-Face. I don't think we've had this one yet. The Mad Hatter. That's new. Another one from The Last Laugh where we get the weird Bat Shirt. I got the Bat Cave. Wait, these are different angles of the Bat Cave. This one's got the Batmobile in it. The other one had the Bat Computer. The Two Face reveal again. Good old Man Bat and Batman fighting. Let's pop these bad boys into the into the binder. I feel like we're getting really close to a full set. There we go. I can't be the only one who like puts their their trading cards up by like the organized numbers, right? That's a thing people do, right? Let me know if I'm weird or if you're weird. How many more cards do we have left? There are only 19 cards left, and I still have. Forever. At least one more vinyl mini cell in this. Keep on trucking through. Joker wearing his uh his little bubble helmet from the last laugh. Always loved that look. Got it. 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 Joey the snail again. Hell yeah. We got one new card out of that whole pack. <laughs> hey! Another Spider Conway. Beautiful, isn't it? Another Arkham Asylum. Oh, we actually have a man bat card. That's new. Another, 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 and another. We're down to 17 cards left. How many more of these do you think I need to open before we get to all of them? On one hand, I'll feel bad if I get like all of the cards and I just keep opening them. But on the other hand, I'll, I'll feel bad if I don't open all of them and there's like a signed Danny DeVito card in there. It's a struggle. Another Batcave. This is a new one from The Last Laugh. 
Batman getting splashed up in the bat boat. Another, another, another Rupert Thorne and Candace. Killer Croc, that's a new one. There's Captain Clown actually hanging out. So that's a new one too. Wayne Manor, that's new. So we got three, four, five, six, seven new ones. Got 10 more to go over this whole pack. This whole pack is just new ones. It's not, it's not, this whole pack's not new ones at all. Passed out Man Bat again. Passed out Man Bat again, 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 again. All 10 of those. Oh, this is a new one. The Sting operation at the start of the Two-Face episode. Again, 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 again. Move all those extras to the side. There's a stack. Again, again. This Two-Face one just keeps popping in. Again, 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 again. Did I get this one already? Yeah, I did. I expected to get like a full set out of this, but it's kind of weird like actually building it. We're really getting towards the end of this, you guys. Oh, there's a new one. Mr. Freeze. Zero degrees Celsius. 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Negative 273 degrees Celsius. This is another one of those those weird style guide ones. Look at that. Like, what is up with that? I didn't expect this to be like such a long process. Clayface, that's a new one. That's a new one. I think this is a new man bat. I don't think I've seen that one. So that's that. These right here are the rare cards, right? I've gone through like 20 packs and I've only found one of. I say that and then I open this pack right up and there's another Clayface. I don't think I have this one from the Two-Face episode yet. Yeah, I do not have that one yet. Another Spider Conway. Hell yeah. I'm so so f hungry. I know, dude, I, I'm hurting. Joey the snail again. Another clay face. Like, what is, how are these ones that like, I didn't get a single one. Like all of a sudden I'm just getting an abundance. Joker and the boys. Gotham City. Ra's al Ghul. Ra's al Ghul. I won't discriminate. Did we get this one from On Leather Wings? I don't think we did. Batman riding the man bat. There we go. Let's put these couple ones in. We're getting really close to a full set, guys. And by we, I mean me. You're not, you're not part of this. Sweet, so that rounds out our villains. Boom. All right, how many more do we need? We got four cards left to find. <laughs> God. Out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 more packs. All right, let's do it. I'm just gonna start like speeding through these now. We got that. We got that. Everything in that pack was a double. Everything. That might be a new one. No, that's not new. All of those were doubles. That's a double. That's a Spider Conway. That's new. Batman spray gun and goggles. That's new. That's Summer Gleason. And I think this one is new from On Leather Wings. This might might be it, which means that there's one more final mini cell in there somewhere. I think this is a full set, but you know what? Let's keep on going. Let's find that last mini cell. Not in this one. Not in this one either. Is it in here? Nope. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. I got three more packs left. Watch the last vinyl mini cell just not be here. There it is. It is the penguin. I'm just opening up the rest of them because there's only two left. Might as well. Let's see if maybe there's a fourth vinyl mini cell. I doubt it. I didn't see any autograph cards yet. Those are all extras as well. If I remember correctly, in the Batman the Animated Series Blu-ray that just came out two years ago now, we got this awesome little little pack full with uh, holographic cards. Gotta say, they look better here. They're made of really weird holographic material that like really antsy thinking about it or touching it or look at how be much better the color looks on these. I'll tell you a story. They put this kind of stuff on lunch boxes and I was at Goodwill once. All of a sudden, very close behind me, I hear someone scratching a lunch box made out of this stuff. And almost instinctively, I almost like turn around and like throw a punch. I stop myself and come to realize it is a literal child. But yeah, I almost, I almost punched a kid in the middle of a Goodwill. I'm gonna come around to the other side of the camera. We can look at the whole collection. This is the binder. Oh, I just noticed that it's like somebody's phone number and name and stuff on the inside of this binder right here. <laughs> it's, it's very hard to see. We got our heroes here, Batman, Robin, Bruce, Dick. You know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, some more heroes, some locations. There's the backs of the cards. We got some more locations. Villains start over here. More villains, more villains, some gadgets. I still, like, I still do not understand how Spider Conway, more gadgets. And then we get into our episode cards. On Leatherwing, going into Nothing to Fear. Nothing to Fear, going into The Last Laugh. More of The Last Laugh. Some Poison Ivy, right? More Pretty Poison. And then we've got the uh, the Two-Face Part 1. And then here we got our, our vinyl mini cells. So, I don't really know how to end this. This may cut to me at a different time and date with giveaway information, maybe. Hey everybody, I'm sure you're probably wondering, why are we seeing this view? The last time we saw this view, you were talking to us about minions. Are you here to talk to us about minions today? And as much as I would love for that to be the case, the truth of the matter is I just got finished with my weekly Twitch stream in which I go through a 
DCAU type book. The Harley Quinn Mad Love, we actually just started it today. If you wanna join us on those, it's twitch.tv slash DCAU Watchtower. We figured out what we're doing about that giveaway thing that I may have mentioned one to 17 times in the video, depending on how James edited it. The whole collection of the, the Batman the Animated Series trading cards. This one in the front is mine, but after we get to this point here, where you see all the holofoils, Boom, I've got a whole nother, I have a whole nother set. There's a whole set of these guys in here. If you've been keeping up with us, you know we recently just did our five year anniversary 24 hours Twitch stream celebration. And during that, we decided that we were going to have a giveaway contest drive to try to help us get to 100,000 subscribers. And I don't know where the number is in comparison to where I'm at on the screen, probably like right there. We didn't really hit that, but we still wanna do these giveaways. All you have to do to enter keep commenting on Watchtower Database videos. Every time we hit a new subscriber checkpoint as listed on this giveaway sheet that James has made, we will be picking someone out of the comments to, to win, to win the giveaway thing randomly somehow. I don't know, some kind of random number generator or something like that. I don't need to know the specifics. What you need to know is that you can win a set of Batman the Animated Series trading cards once we hit 85,000 subscribers just by commenting, feeding the algorithm beast and, 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 and helping push our content into more people's recommended feeds and then getting us subscribers and then you can win some things. It's not even just this, there's other stuff. So long as like something weird doesn't happen between now and then, like my house burning down or Ted dropping dead from coronavirus or something. You know, just random morbid sh and we're still able to give these things away. That's what we're doing. That's the plan. So if you're not subscribed already, go ahead, hit subscribe. If you haven't commented on this video yet, what are you waiting for? It can't hurt anything. Put a single word, I don't know, ostrich. I think that's all I needed to say. Back to the version of me that was already here. I don't know, I recorded this weeks ago. So that's what a full Jesus fucking Christ. So that's what a full set of Batman the Animated Series cards looked like. I guess we didn't get an autograph card like I was hoping for unless I overlooked it just by looking at one side of a card, throwing it into the doubles pile. If someone wants to send me another box just so I can have those last three vinyl mini cells, awesome. But I'm not I'm not worried about that. I don't need that. But yeah, obviously this has been a Watch Terror Database video. I've been I've been Maddie Washburn. I'm you know, that's who I am. Maybe we'll open some more trading cards in the future. I don't know if any of the other series had trading cards. I think Justice League did. Stay tuned for more Watchtower Database videos. We've got stuff coming all the time. Batman The Adventures Continues breakdowns, uh, the lost episodes of Batman the Animated Series that I've been doing. Lots of fun stuff, always different stuff. Most of it's Batman. Sorry, Jake. It's just kind of what the majority of the DCAU content ends up being. I love you guys. Drop a comment below why you think Spider Conway got put into this. Why I have 17 Spider Conway cards cards on my shelf. I'll see you next time. Be sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on all that cool stuff coming up. Mwah. Kiss your dad's dad for me. <gasps>